Hi guys, this travel guide is brought to you by a real local. Si, sono italiano. Today, we'll guide you through Lake Como, the town of Bellagio, and secret spots with zero tourists. Famous Villa del Balbianello, where James Bond and Star Wars was filmed. Milan with its signature Galleria, the main square Piazza Duomo, the Sforzesco Castle, free entrance to private rooftops, and Italian pre-dinner aperitivo. Top cheap local eateries with no tourists, four must-visit architecture masterpieces all close to each other. Bolzano and Merano City on the border with Austria with fun train rides over the mountain ridge. Angera Town on the Maggiore Lake. Going to touristic places and following the beaten path is boring. We don't like boring. We take you to secret places that nobody knows. Enough with a pay this and pay that. Free. For cheap car rental, accommodation, best times to visit and maps and plenty more, skip to the very end of the video. We recommend starting straight off the bat with Lake Como. Not sure if you know, but Lake Como is where George Clooney had his summer residence since 2002, where many James Bond, Casino Royale, and Star Wars scenes were shot. Lake Como is the third largest lake in Italy. At over 400 meters deep, it's one of the deepest lakes in Europe. The bottom of the lake is more than 200 meters below sea level. Lake Como has been a popular retreat for aristocrats and wealthy people since Roman times, and a very popular tourist attraction. It has many villas and palaces where many famous people currently live. One place we absolutely recommend going to is the Villa del Balbianello in the Lenno town. This villa used to be an ancient monastery from the 12th century. The history behind this villa is insane. It hosted important writers and protected politicians during the Red Brigade assassinations. The underlying tunnels of the villa were used as safe escape passages. Why is this villa so famous? Hollywood, of course. This scene from James Bond Casino Royale was filmed here in Via del Balbianello. Hello. Oh, Monsieur Mendel. And this scene from Star Wars Episode Two: The Attack of the Clones was filmed right here. Beautiful. Let's sightsee this place together. If you're not interested, skip this video for one minute. Total price for visiting this villa is 20 euros. If you only want to visit the gardens, then it's only 10 euros. If you're an Instagram maniac, this is the place where you have to take pictures. In the area surrounding Lake Como, there are several farms which produce goods such as honey, olive oil, cheese, milk, eggs and salamis. Visitors can typically visit the farm itself in person to make their purchases. In 2014, the Huffington Post called it the most beautiful lake in the world for its microclimate and environment. Lake Como has a Y shape and is popular for its landscapes, wildlife and spas. It's a venue for sailing, windsurfing and kitesurfing. This place is just outstanding for its beautiful architecture and nature wonderful example of symbiosis and mutual respect between men and environment. If you have time before going to Bellagio, which is our next stop, do some trekking here at Lake Como Greenway. You can follow the path up to the above hills and stop at several monasteries or restaurants. You'll find many small little farmers selling their homemade products. Try this place, Alpe di Lenno. We recommend reaching the San Benedetto Monastery it's 8.2 kilometers, however, it's well worth it. The place is extremely rewarding. Check these pictures out. 
To reach Bellagio, you can either drive there or take your car on the ferry from here, Cadenabbia Ferry Terminal. Bellagio is a town within Lake Como. If you've enjoyed the view so far, believe us, it's about to get way better. Bellagio has always been famous for its location upon a tip of land that divides Lake Como in two. Since the town is located on a steep hill, as you walk up the alleys and you turn towards the lake, you'll witness the best postcard view ever. It is unique during daytime, nighttime, but mostly during sunset. It's just incredibly romantic. Our top favorite things to do are walking through Bellagio and taking the signature picture of Bellagio once you reach the top of this alley. This is the place we recommend for that perfect picture. Taking a coffee at Bar Sport in the main square next to San Giacomo Church, grab yourself an Italian espresso and ask for Caffè Lungo. Don't add any milk or sugar and have it by the tables outside. Relax and enjoy the quietness. Alternatively, take an Aperol Spritz if the weather is hot. We recommend Antichi Sapori Bistro. This place has pizza for 7 euros. That's a bargain. Walk to the Punta Spartivento observation deck and witness the dramatic views and relaxing tranquility this beautiful lake offers. Italian and smoke a cigar, we recommend Antico Toscano. If you're a fan of Instagram, this is a good spot. Trust us. Visit our secret spot for the best sunset ever to be seen, and it's zero tourists guaranteed. We've never witnessed such a beautiful sunset, because it's a double sunset, one above the mountain range and one reflected in the lake. It's truly majestic and humbling. Go to Via Valassina and turn up to the hill. Walk up the stone paved alley till you reach farmer fields. To your right, you'll find a field with olive trees going down a steep hill towards the lake. Take your wine and food here and enjoy the best picnic of your life. We felt like this moment made the entire holiday. Not exaggerating. <laughs> Support us by subscribing, liking, sharing and commenting our videos. Motivation is our key to success and we need a lot of it. Before you leave Bellagio, you must try the traditional dish Talk. Eaten with a wooden spoon, it is made of polenta, in English boiled cornmeal, mixed with butter and cheese, accompanied with dried fish from the lake, cold stuffed chicken, or homemade salami. Since there's so much content to fit in one single episode, we'll be doing a four episode travel guide. You can find all of our episodes in the link here in the upper right corner. Every episode is curated to maximize your time and travel efforts. You may modify our itinerary as much as you like, but it might not be as efficient. Our top priority is first, to save you money, second, to live the place like if you were a local, and third, to enjoy the most without compromises. The best period for this holiday is in June or September. You need about seven full days to do it all, and you'll need to rent a car.
Without it, you'll be traveling by bus or train and it'll cost you more money and time. So don't. If you want to rent a car, we recommend economycarrentals.com or rentalcarsdiscount.net. We're not paid to say this. It's just super cheap and we want you to save money just like we did. We paid 7 euros for 10 days. Check this receipt if you don't believe me. <laughs> That's 7 euros per day. Just make sure you read the fine print 100%. Once you have a car, add the locations we visit on this travel guide to Google Maps and download the offline map. To add the locations from this episode, make sure you go to the video description below and click on the map link we have provided under map locations. Either print the map or save each location on your phone by tapping each red marker on the map, then scrolling down and tapping on view in Google Maps. Then tap on the place name and finally tap save. Done. Once you've saved each and every location on the map, open Google Maps and tap the option tab with the three lines on the upper left corner. Tap on offline maps, tap on select your own map, drag to the area you want to save until it covers the area we visit on this episode, zoom in or zoom out depending on how much of the map you want to save, and once ready, tap download. Once you visit this specific area, you'll be able to get car navigation without internet connection. Usually it's very accurate and makes traveling smooth and easy. Cool tip, huh? This is only the first out of four episodes to this travel guide. I'm from Italy and there's absolutely no way you're getting out of my country without doing the coolest and cheapest things possible. And you'll never, ever get ripped off. I promise you. We're trying to reach 2,000 subscribers and only your help can make the difference. Subscribe, comment, like, and share if you care supporting us. Feel free to take a look at our popular, low-cost travel guides here. Check our entire free Emirates Masterclass course here. We'd love to know your experience in the comments below. If you have any other questions, just ask and I will reply. As always, it's my pleasure to do videos, hope you liked it, and keep it rolling guys.